Hello, it's Sarah. Today's video, I have a couple things. I'm just going to share what I've been up to. It is still October, National Decorative Painting Month, and I have the giveaway. So on October 10th, I did a live video, and it was very spur of the moment. I didn't give any type of notice. And I announced that I was going to do a giveaway, and I haven't forgotten about you guys. And as of today, I had 17 comments, and I don't even know if I said to put anything in the comments or whatever. I This is my first really, I actually think I've done a giveaway before, but it was years ago. Um, I would like to do these more often, and because, so this was Joe's idea really, these little phone stands, this is what you're going to get, I'm going to do a random draw, um, this was done on the Glowforge. Uh, this is, I think, birch, no, let's see, birch, no, this is, um, wal, no, not walnut, I think it's birch, I forget, but it is, it's a veneer wood, so what we did is he etched in this little mandala design that I designed, and my name, my Serenity Crafts, and my name, Sarah, so I have three of these to give away. And so I'm going to do that at the end of the video. So I'm going to set those aside. I'm going to show you guys what I've been up to because, like I said, it's been... So that was the 10th that I made that video, and I think I might have done a video... Anyway, I have been painting like crazy. So this is my little... Um, well, first I, sh I did the class. This was the class I took of Lisbeth Stahl. This guy, I got my, oh, this was the video I showed you, the snow tech and everything. So see, it's all hardened and dry. <gasps> I love it. I forgot how much I loved doing this stuff, you guys. So anyway, that being said, I, I still, I don't know how anyone finds the time, but I have pieces that I still want to like these. I'm going to jump around. You know me, a flittering fairy. I still have these that I want to burn and paint just because I think, I don't know, I feel like these are projects that anybody could do if you just go to the Dollar Tree. I found these at the Dollar Tree. Now, they're already into their Christmas stuff, so I don't think you're going to be able to get those anymore. But this, anyway, you know decorative painting is my first love. It's what I started with. Okay, so I did him. Then, I, while I was on her website, I found the little owl, Mrs. Hooligans. So I ordered that. And here's Mrs. Hooligans. Now these are so cool. And it just so happens, the next piece I'm going to show you that I'm working on now is a similar item. Because this is two pieces of wood. So this, and she did say that I could put spacers in between to kind of give it a more, um, in the packet it, it says that you could, you know, it would just give it more distance between, but I just glued it because, you know, uh, that's how I roll. The one thing, I didn't have the exact colors that she used, so my hat is a bit brighter, and I don't know if that makes him not show up as much, but look at the little furry spider. Come on, you guys. I couldn't. I can't stand it. And it was so fun. Lisbeth has, I just found her too. I don't know how long she's been creating packets for sale and all that stuff, but I haven't really looked um, online for a lot of painting packets because I have so much uh, already. I have lots of packets already. I do a lot of Renee. Like I've just stuck with the same artist all the time. But I just love Lisbeth puts these strokes in here. The same thing on the Santa. Sorry, I'm I'm just gonna share this. I don't care. Look, look at his beard, all this strokey stuff. And then we did a little bit of similar stuff in here. So I don't know, I think it refreshed me. Um, also the dry brushing. So I am not a huge dry brusher. You know I'm a floater, but this is all dry brushing, and I did well enough with it. I think I'm still such a heavy hand, and like, see, because even his face is all dry brushed all around here, his bottom here, his feathers are floated, and then you just add the tints of color, and then this was a different background too, like, it was kind of like a, you start in the middle with the light, and you keep adding, 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 so it was so fun. Um, this wasn't a class, it was just the pattern packet, I did it on, by myself, and you're going to see her 
right behind me when I do live videos from now on because this is where she's going to hang. And I know she's kind of Halloween-y, but I don't care. I'm putting her up here. Um, anyway, I, I'll hang her up in a minute. And then, so, I have also shared with you Chris Hoy, who is, I did those three little ornaments with for free. I got this packet and the wood and look, this is the packet, okay? It's a haunted house and here it is. So let me show you, OMG. I couldn't stop painting this yesterday and it was a gorgeous day yesterday. Um, <clears throat> and I went for my walk and did everything, but I couldn't, I couldn't drag myself away. So this is the back panel and it looks a bit messy right now, but I'm going to paint a skeleton. I'm not quite ready. A witch in the doorway. Anyway, and then you overlay the house on top. So, you guys, it's so cute. I can't. It's so cute. I still have a lot of work to do, but I'm going to do... I have to run a few errands today. And again, there were so many cute techniques. Look at the little skeleton. So... But look at the shutters and just getting, let me, I'm going to come in and try to share some of the, I don't know if you can see it. I think you can. Hold on. So if you look closely, I'm going to try and point this out. Okay. So right here, you'll see some light purple all around. And that's supposed to be chipping paint. Look at that. You see the background there? OMG. Look, every bit of this was so fun to do. Okay, so over here, you see all this lighter purple? And then there's bricks here. So what you do is, I'm going to come back up so I don't screw everything up. Um, I took my palette knife, my metal palette knife, and you just run it through the paint just a little bit. So you just have a little, and then you just scrape it across the wood. And it gives you this, um, oh, you know what I have to do too, my vine. Anyway, um, and that's like in the beginning, and then you do a wash over top. Like there's so many steps that it takes, but every step was so fun. I loved this so much. I can't, I don't even understand why I just am, I was so thrilled with every single step. And I think it's because a lot of it was refreshing and new. Like I hadn't done it in so long. I was like, oh, wow, look at that. It was so exciting. I even did that same thing on the shutters. You can see some of the little patchy, like, just scrape looking to make the paint look like it's chipping off. So I'm going to finish this up today. I'm so excited. I can't. It's so, oh, it makes me so happy. Anyway, so thank you, Chris Hoy, for being so smart and creative to create this little, um, Anyway, there's so many decorative painters out there, you guys. I can't share them with all of you, but um, I'll try it again. And I did the same thing in the live video. I put in the description box a few different websites that you can go to to um, see pattern packets and things like that. And then I would really like to, at least once a month, do a short, and I'm going to try and keep them short, not a full tutorial, but just the process of how I go through maybe base coating, then, you know, Flip, then dry brushing, you know, so cer certain little things to share with you guys. Okay, but wait, that's not all. <laughs> so then I've had this forever. Well, maybe not forever, but sometimes on Facebook. Now, my Facebook is very much um, craft oriented. It's not, I have no political post things. Like if anybody gets too political or too... And not to say that those things aren't important. I mean, obviously, and it's a super high time right now for it, but it doesn't, it's not what fills me up. It's not what feeds my soul. And I want everything that I spend time with now to be, have a purpose. And I can't waste time, you know, anyway. I found this on Facebook, I'm pretty sure. That is a great source for you guys as well because people post things that, in the creative world and then you have a link to go find that thing so if you like what you saw you can go find it that's what I that's been my experience anyway so this is coming I ordered it from 
Bear With Us ink is the source that uh, Deb uses for this little, these little guys. It's called Pumpkin Bob and Bat Katie, and they should be here any minute, any day. And these are quite large. They're three-dimensional, so they're going to stand up. They're candlesticks and like the little bat wings, unbelievably cute. This guy and this guy, little pumpkin guy. Um, and they're just topiaries. They're just fun. They're colorful. And I've had this for a while, and I just... I just said I'm doing it so um, I'm doing that and then I just found I went through some of my patterns I have tons of Tracy Moreau and you guys I am gonna send you over to her YouTube channel she's I think only been she's been on YouTube for about for a while but she's really been like doing videos every week two or three a week I think she does one midweek and one weekend so four videos a month I don't know I can't do the math how many is that that's eight videos a month right um, and sometimes even more she's the one that does the uh, random acts of kindness rack and it is on Facebook and it's a separate page if you're looking for the racks you have to um, click like on random acts of kindness page okay it's not Tracy's page she has her own page but I just found this pattern that I had down, because you guys know I love sugar skulls. I mean, this is one of Tracy's right here. This is a sugar skull. Very similar. This is my phone stand. Um, and what I love about Tracy is she uses stamping in her backgrounds and stenciling in her background. So she's pulling in some of the mixed media that we all love and then adding the decorative painting twist to it. So I am going to be doing this one, and maybe I'll film it, although I don't know now because she's on Facebook. I'm going to, I get myself in trouble um, when I step on the artist's toes, and I, that's not my intention. I'm just trying to share that I love their work, and it just doesn't come across that way. I don't know, somehow. <laughs> um, I guess I could always ask permission, so I could email her and see if she would mind if I did a class for you guys. Um, the other thing is the Innovations in Creative Painting. No, it's just Innovations in Painting Facebook page. <coughs> um, it's private, <clears throat> but Debbie Cole is offering a lot of information on that Facebook page, and I'm ad an admin on that. I'm an administrative voice anyway because a lot of the other admins are decorative painters with packets I don't have that to offer but I have my experience with YouTube and so um, she's asked me though to do a dot painting project coming up so we'll say I may do that I'll probably be able to come up with something uh, to share just to get um, you know, we're just trying to share this medium. Um, I know you, many of you guys are polymer clay fans, and I loved polymer clay. And I'm, I went, I have so much. Look, this is right here, my little create banner that I did with like the little flowers. Anywho, I have it all around me. Look, look at this little angel. This is an ornament a three-dimensional ornament with polymer clay come on so cute so um, you know I never say never I will come back to this stuff guys it's just that whatever's it's too there's so many things that I love and I don't want to um, miss out on if I see it and I'm inspired I try to do it right away so anyway I'm gonna cut the wood for this one myself and I'm gonna change it a little bit I think I'm gonna make it into a label that's straight across and then I'm gonna paint the bottle white and try to make it look more like a bottle because she also does it on this surface which is just like a tag shape and I mean I could but look how big it is so I'm thinking if I make like a a two by four that I can stand up like like one of my little houses. Let me show you these. Oh God! I almost killed myself. One of the houses went behind the... I'm okay, Joe. Thank you. It's that spot on the floor that I wiped with the... Like, yeah. I almost killed myself. Thank You're you for okay. coming to save me. Okay. Yes, I'm okay. 
And that was on video. I'm keeping it. I'm not going to edit it out. Now I need to go to the chiropractor, though, because anyway. So these little houses, sorry, guys, Jesus, you know what I did? I was cleaning up in here, and I was using those, um, it's kind of like a pledge or like a, a furniture wipe. You know, I was dusting, and I wiped the floor because we have a wood floor in here just over where Kiwi sits because she had pooped on the floor. So I wiped it up and everything, and that's right where I walked just now, and I almost bit the dust. So, anywho. But see how this stands up because it's a little house. I mean, this is something I made, too, just using... Um, I cut papers and different, oh, MJ, come on, stamping and, oh, I love it. Anyway, all right, Whew, gosh, I'm alive. I don't even know what I was, I was oh, so I'm going to make the bottle out of this, and then I'll, you, I'll just use something, maybe I could even do it on fabric. Anyway, I really want to do this, and it's a love potion, and maybe I'll add a little more. It says love but I might write love potion, you know, because that's the name of it. So anyway, I think it's time for the drawing. What do you think? Um, all right, listen. <clears throat> I just downloaded this app. I have, this is the order that you guys, that the comments were in today. What is today? Friday, the 23rd of October. There's 17 comments. Well, there's more than that, but a couple of you commented a couple times. So, there's 17 of you. Let me go to the app. It's called Random Numbers. Wait, let me see. Yep, Random Picker. All right. So, it says the minimum number is number one, and the maximum number is 17. Nope, not 10,017. And listen, I uh, have three of these to give away, and I was debating if <clears throat> I should just do one. Like, 17 isn't a lot of people. Um, <clears throat> I think I'll do two. I'm going to give away two of these My Serenity Crafts phone stands. All you have to do is... Um, uh-oh, how am I going to do this then? I'm just going to leave the number. So each name in the order that they were on the comments is in order up to 17. All right, so let's just see how this works. Let's go. How do I do it? 17, done. Generate. 13. Let's see who it is. <gasps> Trisha Gun, oh, Tisha Gonzalez, Tisha. She's one of my old school girls, Tisha. So here's what you need to do. In Messenger, right? So go to Facebook and then say send message. And it'll go to a private message. Send me your address and I will send you a little phone stand. All right, Tisha? I have one more to give away. Let's see what happens. And I'm just leaving the numbers the same. And I hope if 13 comes up again, I'm not sending it to Tisha. Generate. Ready? 14. Create 577. 557. That's Diana Romero. And Diana, I remember from, from so long ago, um, she's one of my... Always, always, so many of you on this. I'm gonna give. I'm giving away another one. All right. So wait. I'm giving away another one. Tisha and Diana. I'm giving away the third one because you know why? <coughs> you guys are my. You know what? You're the backbone of my Serenity Crafts. That's why you get a my Serenity Crafts one because you're always there for me. Like I can put out a video of whatever is on my mind that day and you guys watch it and you comment and you're so sweet to me. All right, so let's go. One more. Hopefully, you know, cross your fingers. We got one more. 17. Barperna. Again, another very, very good. I love it. Barb. So I have all three of you girls. Um, I'm going to send these out to you. I hope you watch this video. I hope you try decorative painting. And if not, just...
Do what makes your, ha your soul happy, right? Do what gives you serenity. All right, I hope I hear from you soon. And I hope to come back with another giveaway again. I'm gonna start thinking about this and let me know what you thought of this process of me. I mean, what if I had 100 names though? That would be really hard. So I don't know how other people do it. And um, maybe I should just watch a YouTube video about it. I'm sure there's one. <laughs> All right, you guys, I love you. Thanks for watching.